Hi guys, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. So in this video, we're gonna do a virtual shoot with me here in Manila and my friend in London. This shoot actually came about because of a video that I made wherein I shot my wife in our garage. Um, I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to see that if in case you want to. And when my friend saw it, he goes, hey, I have a garage, why don't we do something? So we decided to take advantage of technology and here it is. So let's see how the shoot goes. So I'm here with my friend Albert. Albert is a, is a nurse from, from based in London. I'm actually quite familiar with the equipment that Albert has. Do you still have all your equipment, Albert? Do you still have the A7R Mark II? All the same. All the same. So, the A7R Mark II so, so you have the A7R Mark II, the Sony Zeiss 16 to 35 F4, the 55 1.8, the 85 1.8 batteries, correct? Correct. And yes. do you still have your Photix Mitros? Yes, I still have one. How many? I still have them. How many do you have? You have two, right? I have two, yeah. Okay. And then you still have your Photix Odin too? I have the Photix Odin. Okay. Yeah. Um, any continuous light you might have you might have um, added to your... Yes, uh, yes, I do. I do have. I do have uh, continuous light. Which ones? Um, the M200 RGB. How many of those? I have two of those. Okay, nice. Very nice. So you went shopping, huh? Yeah. I, I didn't know about no, that. So, a Father's uh, Day, buy one, take one. A Father's Day, buy one, take one. Seriously. Cool. <laughs> Very nice. All right. Okay, so perfect. Okay. So you challenged me, Albert, because of the shoot that you saw that I did with Coco, correct? On how I was able to transform my garage into something worth shooting in. And you want to do the same thing with your garage there. Well, yeah. I... It's not even a garage. It's like a, what what do you call that? Storage. It's a, it's a storage area already. Storage. I don't think your car ever went inside this place. Okay. All right. So um, as I said, Albert's a friend of mine. So I know that he has a son. His name is Reese. And when he did challenge me, I told him that maybe we could shoot Reese in this area. So okay, Albert. Oh, let's start. So yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, with this particular scene, can you move out of the frame now? Can you move out of the frame? Can you go behind your camera? Okay. So one thing that you need to be able to envision in, in shoots like this is that you have to be able to um, create depth and making it look dynamic. Because right now, it is a lot of, it is just a lot of, um, of uh, stuff, right? So when you showed me a picture of this place, um, I knew we could do something because all these things that you have that you may consider as, well, it's not junk, but it's rather it's storage. Um, we can create something with it. So when I'm looking at this picture now, uh, what do you think should we do with ambient light? Though the light that you're getting is actually very, very soft light, which is something that I don't think will work for something that I am envisioning for this place. Is that a keyboard on your lower right? On your right side? Or, sorry, on your left side? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, it is, it is. perfect. Yeah. It's a, that's it's a, keyboard, a keyboard, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, perfect. Yeah. All right, so we'll use that keyboard. Um, I suggest we start off with this. We, the first thing that you need to do, since you don't have any ambient light that you want, maybe you could set your camera first in order for you to remove all ambient light. Can we do that now? Okay, okay so I can see your settings now. So you're on aperture priority. You can see my settings. Yeah, I yeah. can see your settings. You're on aperture priority. So can you put it on manual mode, please? Okay, manual mode, your ISO, put it to 100. Okay, so keep it, keep it as that first, 1 over 250 f4. Can you turn off live view so I can see what, what it's doing to ambient light? Perfect, so this is totally black already, correct? Um, your shutter yeah. speed, can you bring it down to 250 so that we don't need to go high speed sync? That should be okay. All right, that should yeah. be okay. Okay, so can you turn on live view again, please? Uh, can you uh, turn off live view so that we can see the actual scene there? All right. So guys, from the black part, the black scene that you saw was actually live view turned on. 
So that means that no existing ambient light is, is going to be a part of the image now. So Albert, what I was thinking of, the first thing we need to do will build up your light, okay? Can you get one okay. of your Photix Mitros, please? Do you have a do you have a gel filter? Yeah, I do have a gel filter with Colors. orange, red, blue. Okay, can uh, we can green. we use can we use CTO? Can we use the CTO, please? Okay. Yeah. Can you put it there. can you put it on the top right area? You see that shelf at the very back, maybe on the top right, because what I am envisioning, a streak of light coming from there, so that it looks top like right. okay. top right. So it looks like there's a hole in the roof of your garage or something, or you've got, like you see those things on the left side? You see those yeah, holes, right? Uh, you know, the roof is like a corrugated. Yes, uh, yes, exactly. Uh, so, so the but I think I want the light coming from the right. So can you put it on the top right? Facing okay. downwards, okay? Let me climb up. Yeah, go, 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 go. So the reason why we're doing that is we're trying to uh, make it seem as if sunlight all of a sudden just peaked inside your garage. That should give us a little bit of depth already. Okay, yeah. um, all right, Albert, can, you, can we take a test shot now, please? Um, can you turn on your flash and maybe set it to about, okay. uh, at this point, F4, 1 over 250, maybe at F, F4? Ah, sorry, at yeah. uh, 1 fourth power. 1 fourth. 1 fourth power. Okay. 1 fourth power, yeah, test shot, please. Oh, interesting. Very, very interesting. Can you change the direction of the light so that it points lower? Because I don't want, I don't think those boxes will be will be good for for the purpose of the shoot. Yeah, we need a little bit. Tilt yeah, tilt it down. Towards, tilt it down. Yes, down. tilt it down. And Albert, as you can see, is shooting RAW plus JPEG. To take another test shot. Do please. another test shot. Yeah, take another test shot. Okay, with the same settings. The same settings. Yes. Oh, that looks yeah. better. But I think it's too strong. Can you make it weaker, please? What is it now? Yeah. One fourth power? Uh, it's on one fourth. Make it one so eighth. probably around one, one eighth. eighth. One eighth. All right, better. Now, um, yeah. from here, can you change your white balance, please? You already, you already have a CTO orange on, on it, right? I have, yeah. Um, but I think I, I want it so. to be on a warmer tone. Maybe set the white balance about 8,000 Kelvin. 8,000 Kelvin. Kelvin, yes. Yep. All right, perfect. Take one more shot, please. Good. Okay, so now my problem here is that we are, we are losing depth because we it's just pitch black towards the very end, right? You said you had a continuous light, correct? Yep. Um, can you get that continuous light, the Photix M200R, and set the color temperature to about 3200 Kelvin and make it full power and put it right there in the back? Do you want it here, yeah? Yeah, somewhere there. There, that's, that'll be perfect, that'll be perfect. All, All right. right. So can we take another test shot, please? Nice. Um, yeah. All right. Drag your shutter a bit. You're at 1 over 250, correct? 1 over 250, yeah. Drag your shutter a bit. Make it 1 over 160. Or no, make it 1 over 125. You see, by dragging the shutter now, meaning by slowing down your shutter speed, we are allowing a bit of ambient light to enter just to be able to op open up those shadows. Let's see how this one will turn out. Can you take one more test shot? there now we're getting more depth um you still have one more m180 correct yeah can you put it in the floor in the back just to lighten up that that last portion there you want it on the same same color temperature same right? color temperature there yes box on the Ooh. left there that one that one there yeah. yes but point it towards the mattress make it stand a bit if you could hide the light actually there some more some more some more that'll be perfect that's it that's it Okay, take one more shot, please. Yeah. There we go. Now we're getting depth. Okay, um, you see that blue okay. thing? Depth, beautiful. You see that blue thing, that blue cooler? Can you please remove that? Yeah, that one, that one. And with the chair that was, that was on it, can you put it at the center? There, facing there, perfect. Now, you remember the keyboard that I was talking about earlier? Do you mind, yeah, putting, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Do you mind yeah. putting it there? at a 45 degree angle. So the chair also shifted to a 45 degree angle facing camera right. So can you put it there? We're building up so the light the one by one. Yeah, put the keyboard there. Is that the correct height now for your son? Can we, is Reese there now? I, I think it will be, okay. Can you ask uh, Reese to Reese? sit down? 
All right, perfect. Is the height okay? Yeah. Is the height okay? Put can you move? On, on the can you move forward? Yeah, that's yeah. Fine. Okay, that's perfect. Okay. Now, Albert, um, camera angle is important now. Um, yeah. Okay, can you bring your camera in closer? You have an ultra wide, right? What are you using now? 16? I'm using the 16.35. Okay, but you're at 16 millimeter now? Yes, I am on okay. 16. You know, sometimes I like doing, uh, let's do this first before we do one with distortion, okay? Um, okay. Your other flash, can you get your other flash now? Okay, what modifiers installed in that? I have a sphere and a grid. Spear and a grid, okay, that's perfect, okay. Can you put it on camera right, please? please. All right, let's take a shadow, okay? So I don't want his entire, okay. his entire face lit, I just want it lit on the shorter side, meaning on the right, on Reese's left side, okay? Okay, take that shot, Albert, yes. please. Can I see how it looks like? Oh, interesting, beautiful. Okay, um, can you bring it lower, please? You're still at ultra wide, right? 16 millimeter? I am still, yeah. Okay, still. perfect. There, okay. Then bring it down lower if you can. Now, the reason why I'm okay with distortion like this is because we are showing Reese as a pianist, right? And being a pianist, what's key is the hands, right? If yep. we are, we are going to distort something, we distort the point of reference of how of what we want to show. So right now, I want to show his hand. So can you ask him to put his right hand on the keyboard and the left hand too? Okay. Yeah. There we go. Okay. All right. Take the shot. That's nice. Now, Albert, transfer the light that's on the top right to the top left. The reason why I'm asking you to do that is so that we don't light up the boxes and it distracts on towards his face. So this time, you're gonna angle it so that it hits his back. Boom, that's it, except that it's too strong. Now make that light okay. weaker and we've got it. What are you now? Uh, the 116. Uh, no, 132. 132. Yeah. Okay, 132. Okay, keep it at 132, yeah. all right. Then take one final shot and I think we have it. Okay, okay. Ready? One, two, three. There, I think we got it. Perfect. All right. Okay, Albert. Mm -hmm. So you can play around a bit more, um, fixing the pose, and challenge accepted. You asked me if we could do something with your garage. <laughs> well, did we? Yes, yes, See, yes. That's it's, nice. it's a magic of pre visualization, trying to figure out how you want the image to look like. With obviously with this type of this type of location, you want to try to make it look as dramatic as possible. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope our viewers enjoyed this. And if you want to practice some more, by all means, show me the pictures afterwards and enjoy. Yeah. We'll okay. Do that. And don't forget to ask the guys if they want to subscribe to the channel. If they enjoyed this video, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe to the channel. And while you're at it, click that notification bell. And if you want to see more of my images, you, you can follow me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay, till the next video.